Hello everyone, welcome, and today I have a very special unboxing here of some retro related hardware. Now, I know I have a lot of PlayStation subscribers and PC subscribers. This is not a PS5, nor is it a PC or even a mini PC. This is a retro handheld, so uh, if you're not really into that retro stuff, this may not be the video for you. However, I'm a big fan of handhelds, and I've been waiting for something to play my retro games on and I kind of fell off that retro handheld bandwagon for a while um, I had a GPD Win 2 but I sold it pretty quick and ever since then I didn't have anything to play my retro games on I had a Raspberry Pi but it was a bit annoying to set up so now I have a handheld uh, that's much easier in terms of pick up and play so I hopefully this thing will allow me to play more retro games more often. Okay, without any further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, I'll do a quick unboxing, look at the device itself, and then also look at some features of it. And then we'll do a size comparison as well with some other devices that I have here. And I will play some games on it and I'll leave it there. But uh, if I like the device enough, I'll make another video about it in the future. Okay, so it's a pretty flimsy box. So I got the full pack. I got the device itself and I also got a bag or a carry case. I got a little Wi-Fi dongle with it as well. And, I, and a screen protector, I believe. So this is the case itself. I thought it might've been the official one um, the official Ambinic, but they've just sent me a random case here, I think. So, we've got a USB dongle for Wi-Fi. And you might have guessed what this device is already. This is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. So, later on, that's how you're going to be able to use the Wi-Fi on this thing. So this is the device that I got. This is the Ambinic RG351P. And I got it in purple. So super excited about this. And it's a little bit bigger than I thought because when you watch a lot of other videos, it's hard to tell exactly what size this is. So actually, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the screen size. Um, I, I think this is a pretty neat screen size. It is small. I mean, if we compare it to say like the Switch here, I mean, <laughs> that, that is pretty funny. Uh, so if, if you think the Switch is already kind of small, then yeah, you, you might not like the Ambinic RG351P. Um, this is a Vita. Might have to get rid of this. It's a Switch Lite. Uh, so they said this is a three and a half inch screen. So three and a half inch would be nine centimeters. And then the Switch Lite which is five and a half inches. That's at about 13 and a half inches. But you can see like th um, th three and a half inch there versus five inch there. The five inch is just way bigger. This is, I believe, five inch. So the Vita is not um, small, but like even half an inch smaller makes it look way smaller. And as I've said before, the switch and the Switch Lite. Uh, the Switch feels much bigger, even though it's just half an inch bigger. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Switch and Switch Lite. Let's have a look at this RGB uh, 315P. And I think this is a really good size. Uh, let me bring the mic a little bit closer. Um, I think this is a really comfortable size. It fits my hands really nice. Um, I don't have big hands. Uh, but this this feels great to me, and I think this feels great for kids as well. Um, I mean, they they love the switch size, um, but this isn't bad, you know. This 
I, I could imagine getting this, like, you know, when you're a kid, this, this would be a, totally amazing uh, with the screen size. I, I was a bit worried in terms of the screen size. Uh, I, when I decided to get this, I figured, okay, it's probably going to be about the same size as my 3DS, which is this one. And I'm okay to play retro games on a 3DS um, if it was the same size. And I think, I think you can see that it's more or less the same size here. So this is about 10 centimeters. So it's actually a little bit bigger. And this is this looks like it's about nine. Okay, let's fire her up. Okay, here we go. We've got some battery. So, so for this unboxing, obviously, I'm just going to go with whatever firmware is on this device right now. Later on, I'm going to put on ArcOS. So what do, what do we have? We have Nintendo DS. We have Final Burn Neo. We have Mame. Let's see what's in Mame. This would be pretty cool to. So there's a ton of stuff in here already loaded up. We have the Wonder Swan color. Okay. I, I love how there's already a lot of stuff there. It's almost as if you don't really have to do anything. You could if you wanted to, um, but this is pretty much ready to go. And I believe there is RetroArch on this as well. So you'd be able to change the scaling. Um, if you're not happy with like how it looks, you could just do it off the stock firmware anyway. MSX, PC Engine, Nintendo, here we go. Yeah, what do we got here? So there's probably way too many. Okay, well we gotta have give this a go, because I used to play this all the time. <laughs> so I haven't played this in about twenty years. Um, okay, can we, here we go. And the text size is nice here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but like for me, I feel comfortable playing with this text size. Um, even though this was made for TV, this feels fine as it is. Okay. Oops. I gotta get used to the controls again. Even though this is stretched, it doesn't look like it's stretched. Whoops. So it's a little bit hard to do the spinning kick. There we go. So just gotta get into it. The buttons feel pretty good. I really like the feel of the buttons. Um, it feels soft. Hopefully they last a while. And, but yeah, it is a little bit harder to do the um, spinning kick. And that's the really cool thing about this system. Uh, because it's Linux based, you can just pull out the memory card and then just add more games in yourself. Uh, let's play something. Uh, let's go back to PlayStation. I wanted to play Gran Turismo. Now PlayStation is really probably the upper limit of what you can do with this system. So anything like Dreamcast probably doesn't work as well, but PlayStation 1 generally works fine on this. So if you like PlayStation, I think uh, this will be great for this system. And 
if you can't tell whether this is stretched or not, then I guess uh, that's fine. I think PlayStation was a 4x3 system in terms of the screen aspect ratio. So the buttons generally feel good. Um, I did have a little go of it before. As you can see, the frame rate is pretty good here, like, I'm sure it's around about 30 FPS. And definitely very playable. Don't think it's 60. So it's not like you're going to... It's not like you're playing this on a mega PC and you're getting way better FPS. But definitely very serviceable playing it here. And Gran Turismo obviously takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, well, okay, so the Y button is the break. Whoops. And I think A is the handbrake. Whoop. So control's pretty nice, like it doesn't feel like it's hard to control, generally plays pretty well. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try and get out of that. Okay, let's, let's play Street Fighter. Now I did play this a second ago, and the buttons are all uh, not correct. So the buttons at the top here are the kick buttons, and the buttons at the bottom are the punch buttons. Whoops. And I'm getting a beat down here. Whoops. Oh gosh. No, are you kidding me? And I do feel like it doesn't look quite perfect here, so we'll have to play around with the scaling for this. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing of the Ambernic RG351P retro handheld machine. And at the moment, 
uh, I really like it. It's a hundred dollars or roughly about a hundred dollars on Aliexpress and I think uh, it, yeah, it does a lot of good things Okay, so That's gonna be it for this one If you like this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one